Hey guys, what's up? So first, I just want to say Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great New Year, a safe New Year weekend. Hope you guys spent time with family and just had a good time to end 2016. I'm excited for 2017 and uh, the start of this year and this channel and stuff that I would like to eventually start doing for this channel. So we'll get into that later on. But I did want to make this uh, kind of tutorial tip video for anybody that's new or maybe just didn't know that you could do this. But have you ever went to like Specto, Exodus, Bob, any other movie or TV show add-ons like that to where they have providers? And when, let's say you're in Exodus and you find a movie you want to watch or a TV show, you go and click on it. And then in the top um, top part of the screen, the dialogue comes up and it shows you that it's loading and it's going through all these providers. Well, sometimes you'll be waiting for 5, 10 seconds, maybe even longer, and a provider will just sit there and it'll hang. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove that provider and you can kind of speed up specto exodus bob and any other type of movie add-ons that have a list of providers that it goes through before it actually starts playing the video so i'm going to try and do an example real quick in uh specto movies down here hopefully it does it but if it doesn't i'll do my best to explain to you guys because i'm sure you've witnessed it before if you use exodus specto or bob or any of any type of add-ons that have providers that it has to go through before the movie actually plays um, so we'll just go to Specto Movies real quick. Hopefully I can get an example for you guys to show you. Um, I'll just pick a random movie here. So let's just do Keeping Up with the Jones Joneses. Uh, we'll click on that. Wait for it to load right here. Now you see how it's saying remaining sources, all of those. Well, it actually went quick this time. So that was a bad example because that one did not work. Um, give it a moment to load here and I'll stop it and I'll try and get one to where a provider hangs so you can see what I'm talking about and then um, obviously I'll show you guys how to remove that provider in the settings so let me just try one more and um, see if I can get one that hangs so let's just try the accountant um, it's going through the sources right now remaining so you got one movies day TV it kinda was hanging there for a moment but as you can see it's obviously not gonna let me show you for this video because they're all going fast now so let me stop that, but let's just say you click on a movie and you've seen where it had the sources down there. Well, sometimes you'll get one that will just hang for, like I said, 5, 10, maybe 15, 20 seconds even. Sometimes even longer, who knows. So if you want to get rid of that so it just speeds it up and loads faster, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So um, you want to go into System, Add-ons, go to My Add-ons, and then go down to Video Add-ons and find whichever add-on it is that you're using for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna do specto fork um, just to show you guys so you want to bring up your context menu C if you're on a keyboard menu if you're on a remote and then go down to configure and this will bring you to the settings menu for this specific add-on so then you want to go down to um where is it right here movies and these are the list of all the providers that it goes through to play different movies for you different sources but um let's just say one got stuck like you can see up here let me get back to the top real quick um right here easy news i disabled that because that one in the past was hanging for me and it just slowed it up it made it take longer to load a movie so i went in here and you just remove it but let's just say for the purpose of this video when you went to play the video movie 25 was in that dialogue box and it was just sitting there waiting for this source to play so you would come in here and then you would click on movie 25 make sure it's not red make sure it's disabled and that's all you do and you can do this with any other sources in here anyone that's maybe hanging or taking too long to load for you just come into this settings go through this list and just disable whichever ones um you know take forever to load for you i wouldn't recommend disabling all of them because the more that you have enabled the better your chances are of getting a better quality stream or uh, HD 1080p whatever so you you don't want to disable all of them this is really just for if one or two maybe three are just hanging and they're taking forever before the video actually starts so you just go in here go to movies 
go through this list, find the one in that dialogue box that was hanging for you. For this case, I just did movie 25. Come in here and just disable it. Click OK. And now when you go back to play that movie, that provider will be removed from the list and it'll load your videos and TV shows a lot faster. You can also do this with uh, TV shows. So here's, you know, um, easy news again. This one I disabled. The rest are all enabled. Yeah, okay, the rest are all enabled, but the two up top I had to disable because they would just sit there and hang forever before the video would actually start playing. And sometimes, you know, it gets annoying because you want to click on a video and have it play. That's the only reason why I say I love the one-click play movie add-ons because it's literally you click on it, you wait two to three seconds, boom, starts playing. But Specto, Exodus, Bob, these are one of the top, you know, movie add-ons, I believe. So... Some people may, be, you know, may not want to wait for that, but this is how you do it. You just go into the settings, uh, disable whichever provider and source is hanging for you, and then you just click OK. And then once you go back to it, it'll start playing again. It'll totally uh, skip that provider so it won't be hanging for you, and it'll just speed it up and make it go a lot faster than what it would. Same with Exodus. Just go here, bring up the context menu, go to configure, uh, go to providers right here. And when you're in a movie for Exodus, just find what provider it is that's hanging. Come in here and then go through the list and just disable whichever ones are slowing down. But I have all of them enabled here in Exodus, I think, because none of them have been giving me problems. But if they did, I would just come in here, say watch 32, click it. Now it's disabled. Go back to OK and I can go back to playing the video and it should speed it up a lot faster now you can do this with bob exodus specto and uh, i believe there's a few more that aren't the one click type play movie add-ons uh that have to go through providers and sources and then it gives you a whole list of a source and provider that you can click to play on some may be like hd 1080p sd quality 720 it doesn't matter it just gives you a whole list but this is just an easy way a quick simple tip for those of you that did not know how to do this or know that this was available, if you're ever in Specto, Exodus, Bob, etc., and you see a provider that's just hanging there in the dialogue before the movie starts, go into the settings, go to the providers, and go through the list and just enable and disable whichever ones you choose. Just remember, the more you have enabled, the better your search results are going to be for a better quality stream. So just keep that in mind. But Anyways, I, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give a quick tip for those of you that, you know, may not know that this was possible or may just be brand new to Cody and didn't know that you can do that. So now you should know if you're in Specto, Exodus, Bob, or any others, if you got a provider that's hanging and just stalling it out, waiting before the video plays, just go into your settings, disable it, click OK, restart the movie, and you should be fine it should go a lot faster for you guys so i hope this little tip helped for you uh tomorrow i'll have another video for you guys another kind of tip video and a new add-on i would like to share with you guys so hopefully you guys will tune into that and enjoy again i hope you guys had an amazing new year i'm excited for 2017 for this year for this channel um, I got some, you know, great ideas that I would like to do for all my subscribers and stuff. Just a way to give back even more than I've been trying to give back to you guys with these builds and add-ons and stuff like that. So, thank you all for the last month of 2016. It's been absolutely amazing. You guys have been giving me so much support. Honestly, it's been great. And uh, I'm just going to continue bringing you guys content. So, hopefully you like it. Subscribe if you're new. Give me a like if you want to, if you think it's worth it. If not, that's okay too. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. See ya!